Stream thinking. It's learning how to trust what is in your present. Now, to get there requires some practice. Every day, I'll sit down with a sheet of paper. I give myself 10 minutes. I write about whatever is moving through the presence of right now. Absolutely no judgment. You see, when you become a stream thinker, it sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. You've got to learn how to trust the right now. This is Stream Thinking. Today we're reading from April 29th, 2023. The value of having a voice. We must realize that no two voices are ever going to be the same. All people have something to say. And your voice is that symbol of freedom, democracy. Being on the sidelines can be looked upon as being a supporter. But ultimately, the goal should be a willingness to participate with a conversation. The calling is to be an engaged bystander. Getting into the moment will always need a fan base, but it becomes a stronger case and a cause when you stand up to be heard. All too often that happens when something has gone wrong. There's value in every person that we meet. Respecting their space is a beautiful walk. Listening to their stories can help heal your challenges. Using your voice doesn't always have to be in protest. Your voice. Mark Twain said one of the greatest things in his autobiography, The 100th Anniversary. He said that your voice and the way that you write, that's your accent. That's your presence. That's your place. And if you try to copy or you try to become something other than yourself, you're not being fair to those that are in front of us. Your voice is something people may need. They may not need it. It may be in the way of them having a voice, but you still get to be heard. I grew up in a family of eight. I wasn't the noisy child. I was the child that returned to his bedroom because there I had a voice. In the middle of eight kids, ah, what was I? I was the middle child. By the time things got to me, it was like, ah, everybody said everything. I, 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 I don't need it. So I had to learn how to trust instinct to be able to speak about things without opinion. You don't have to talk about politics in the way of being on this side or that side. Just have a conversation. You don't have to compare notes. It's not a pissing contest. Just exercise your right to use your voice. Your voice is important for your family, for your neighborhood What about the whole entire community? You don't have to be on city council to have a voice. Social media, that's a written voice. Or you can do a vlog and you can have a voice on on YouTube. It's there. But at least you are making a difference. But to sit around, to be an armchair quarterback, that's not where we are right now. Everybody needs to have a voice. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.